Hi, I'm Sarah D. Welcome. I really love to be able to spend a few moments with you every week. And behind me, I have my believe sign, but it says together is a wonderful place to be. And I really do. I love to spend time with you. And I love to feel like we have things in common. Some people on LinkedIn will post comments on LinkedIn. And sometimes on, on, on YouTube. And thank you so much for that. And also thank you, YouTube, for what you do. I mean, this is amazing. You let me, you let me share. A long time ago, I learned a song called, I Am A Rock. And that's not uh, the sequel to I Am Afghanistan, but uh, it's one that Simon and Garfunkel wrote, uh, along with their I Am A Boxer, or The Boxer, I guess. And, uh, I'm just a poor boy is how the boxer starts. Oh, uh, Sound of Silence, Sound of Silence. And I Am A Rock is a song about not needing anybody. And my post last week was, I, I want to believe I don't need anyone but you. And then the song resolves that that's foolish and it's impossible and it's not something that can really happen because we do need each other. That's what we were, we were made to need each other. Otherwise we would just, I don't know, come into this come into being by ourselves it wouldn't even come into being with parents you know if we didn't need anybody so i'm going to start with this song i am not a rock but i'm going to sing it the way i used to a long time ago near in a place near to where we are today a winter's day on a cold and dark december streets below on a freshly fallen silent shroud of snow I am not a rock though I tried to be strong and movable doing what pleases me I simply cannot survive this life alone I need help from many sides to I am a rock or I believe I don't need anyone but you speaks to a period of adolescence. Now adolescence is not only a time of 
age is also a time of maturity and we can get stuck there. And I am certain I got stuck there and I still go back there, even being on this earth for as long as I've been here. And one of the things I've, I've learned is that when I share the things I learn, I do better. And so when you learn things, I would encourage you to share it with others because I know you learn things because we are all given opportunities to learn because this life is one big opportunity to learn. And there are so many opportunities that we can get overwhelmed with how many there are and how do we choose. And one of the things I've observed of those people that I know who are, are very focused and, and successful in, in my realm is that they've just made a decision and just stuck with it. A long time, well, a while ago, one of the YouTube posts I talked about, one of the things my mentors told us to, to do and to help other people to do if they were having a hard time focusing on, on what to do and couldn't, didn't even believe that they could ever tell themselves to do something and they would do it because when it, whatever they started, they wouldn't finish. And, and I've, I've had that challenge myself. And so the advice he gave was to tell them, okay, can you drop a pencil? Well, yeah, of course I can. Can you pick it up? Uh, well, obviously. So I want you to do that 10 times every day. Mark it off, make a check mark, make a little, little accountability that you do that 10 times every day. Make a commitment to do that until I talk to you in a couple of weeks, until we talk again. Can you do that for two weeks every day? And even if you miss a day, do it the next day. That sounds pretty easy. I guess I can do it. Okay, good. Then when you come back, you know, we'll check in. And what happens when you do that is you, you're doing something very simple and you may think it's way too simple, but don't, don't add anything to it. In my, in my post when I talked about it, I got confused and I said, add something to it, but don't add anything to it. Do that easy thing. And then in those two weeks, check back in with yourself or with somebody that you're going to check in with. Hey, I'm going to drop a pencil and pick it up. Well, the, the story he tells about in his, in the mentoring uh, program that I was in with him that talked about the pencil, he said that the person who did it was a salesman. And after two weeks, he, he said, you know, I kind of feel like I can make more calls than I used to make. I kind of feel like I can do that. And I've been making more calls. And he said, well, that's great. Keep dropping the pencil and, and picking it up. And he's going, fine. It does, uh, okay. I'm not sure why I feel like I want to make more calls, but I don't think it has anything to do with that pencil dropping. And so he continued to do that. And two weeks later, uh, the wife actually talked to my mentor and said, what are you, what are, what are you having him do? He's like, he's getting stronger. His, his legs are like looking kind of amazing. And, and he just seems like he's not as unmotivated as he used to be. What, what's going on? And so... Dropping a pencil and picking it up, something as simple as that can build integrity with yourself. And when you have integrity with yourself, you know that you can give yourself instructions and follow them. But the key thing is not to give yourself instructions that are too much for wherever you are at any given moment. Because, you know, each morning we need to check in with ourselves and see how we're doing. And, you know, how much gas do we have in our gas tank? How, you know, where are we? And then, okay, what instructions can I give myself? I had maybe some, some goals from the night before, but what is reasonable for me today? Because maybe we didn't get any sleep. Maybe one of our children had us up all night. Maybe uh, somebody died in the night. I mean, there are so many things that can happen from the time you go to bed until the time you wake up in the morning. So you check in. Just It doesn't have to be a long time, but just kind of, kind of a, little, a little scan. And then you, you make sure that your instructions are not too much, but challenging enough that you can move somewhere a little bit, or at least not fall too far behind, depending on maybe how far you dropped in the night. It's important that we stay on track with our commitments with ourself. I, I made a little T-R-A-C-K, an acronym with that and I would like to share it with you right now. To stay on track for me means to stay tenacious, resilient, aligned, consistent, courageous, and 
kind. So tenacious, resilient, aligned, consistent, courageous, and kind. Stay tenacious in executing your task and don't try to do everything perfectly. 80% is good enough. 80% is good enough. Uh, I'll, I'll link a book that talks about the 80% that talks about, um, anyway, talks about the 80%. Uh, you don't have to do better than 80% and you're going to be amazing and you'll have not just one thing that you're good at, but many things you're good at that you can kind of link together in a, a wonderfully creative way that will be unique for you and then what you have will be more valuable because you're not just you know you're not only singing one note you have a larger scale to work from so tenacious in finishing 80 percent of the action steps you set to accomplish today don't go for perfection allow room for growth detours and adaptation stay resilient and getting back on track each time you fall away from today's action steps. Not what, not if, but when. Come on, you know you will. You'll fall away. Stay resilient in getting back on track when you fall away each time today. Stay aligned with your best self. Who is that? That's the you you feel encouraged to become, not the one you feel you should become. The one you feel, oh man, I'm so excited. I'm going to get to be able to be this person. I'm going to get to be able to feel good about myself. I'm going to get to go to bed at night and say, I'm so grateful I was able to have a positive impact in this arena. Stay aligned with that vision of you. Stay consistent and courageous enough to continue taking the daily action steps you have chosen to become your best self. Stay consistent, especially when you do not see progress towards your goal or when you do not know exactly how it will all work out. Staying consistent and courageous and continuing when you're not sure how it's going to work out or even you're not seeing progress or, or, or you don't like where is my next step? Staying consistent in the action steps. Staying consistent in the action steps will lead you to the place to the next one. It will. It works that way in so many creative arenas. Uh, I won't go into them, the ones, the ones that I've experienced because I feel like I'm already talking plenty long. Stay kind to yourself and to others. Kindness begins with you. You give it away and it comes back to you. You plant kindness and the fruit of kindness is yours to feast upon and to give away again and again and again. Remember, the momentum of your repeated action and inaction creates the results you get. And your results come from the direction the momentum is moving. It isn't a mystical law. It's simply a body in motion stays in motion in the direction it is moving. And a body at rest stays at rest unless extreme effort to overthrow the resting inertia is initiated. The thought of this extreme effort makes movement and change seem like more of a bother than it's worth. I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> do you? But we do, don't we? Sometimes I don't want to brush my teeth at night. Sometimes I don't, but usually I do. I think eight, more than 80% of the time I do. It can also make it feel dangerous. The thought of the effort to break the inertia can feel dangerous. And since our default programming tries to keep us safe, our default programming will discourage us from making the effort. We will remain at rest unless we take control of our mind one small action step at a time. Drop that pencil. All the leads are going to be broken on that pencil. And pick it up. Teach your mind that you are the boss. 
teacher programming, your default program that's going to keep you safe. This is this is completely safe. I can the instructions I give you are safe. You're just confused and thinking they're unsafe. Just because you don't know the exact next step doesn't mean it is not going to be there and you will not know. Oh, this is it. And one small change over time, starting with dropping that pencil, if that's where you want to, to begin, changes the ultimate destination. Where you are isn't as important as where you will arrive. Where you are, say if I'm going straight there, I'm going to use my arm. If I'm going straight there, if I'm facing this way, I'll go that direction. I turn just a little bit more, you know, years, years down the road going that direction. Just that little bit of movement doesn't seem like that much, but it's going to put me in a different, different town. It's gonna. It, I'm not going to arrive at the same physical destination. So the little changes that we make, dropping the pencil, picking it up, being consistent, and this the one small thing is the beginning. I'm not a rock, and neither are you. Let's go make it a great day. I'm Sarah. Oh, I'm Sarah Dean. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, YouTube. And uh, bye.